I'd like to share some of the ways that I customize how OneNote looks when I work with it um, in the classroom and basically anywhere. When you first open OneNote for the very first time, uh, you should be inside the OneNote 2007 guide. Uh, and I really do recommend that you look through the Getting Started with OneNote uh, tab looking at all of the different pages within it as well as the more cool features. There's lots to learn about uh, OneNote and they've got a, a really great resource here. But I like to actually customize which toolbars are visible and what I can see where. So first of all I will go up to View and I will come down to Toolbars you can see that the standard formatting and writing tools toolbars are already being shown. I also like to have the drawing tools and my pens visible when I'm working within OneNote. So I will make those visible now. Now the My Pens now have a multitude of pens lifted, listed over to the left. Um, the top four are your thin, like ballpoint pens. The next four are a medium point um, pen. And the bottom four are your highlighters. The one on the very end is the custom one, which lets you um, choose colors that aren't in the standard uh, list or sizes that you want to use on a per pen basis. The drawing toolbar got shoved down to the bottom, and I don't particularly like it down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the edge of the toolbar until I see the cross arrows. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this up to the top of the screen. So now I technically have two rows of toolbars. And as you can see, some of these toolbars seem small and maybe missing some items. The little arrow down at the bottom of a toolbar goes into the options and lists all the different toolbars that are available or the buttons that are available on that toolbar. Um, if there's something that you do want to see more of, you can drag it down so that it's available on the next row and then more um, options will be available on the actual toolbar. So I typically have my drawing toolbar here and I'm not sure what the name of this toolbar is, but the second toolbar listed um, right next to it. A couple of other things I'll do when I'm setting up OneNote on a new computer is I'll normally get rid of the work notebook and personal notebook uh, just because they don't really suit the needs of my use for OneNote. So if you right click on the notebook, you can choose to close the notebook. So I'm going to close the work notebook and the personal notebook. So at the moment, the only notebook I have uh, available is the OneNote 2007 guide. I also like to add uh, at least one button up onto the toolbars. Uh, you'll notice this button here uh, turns on and off um, the rule lines on a page. I also like to have the option of what type of rule lines to show. So I'm going to click on the little arrow here on the end of the toolbar that says toolbar options. I'm going to click on add or remove buttons and then I'm going to select customize. Um, I like to go into the commands tab uh, and this particular one if we go to writing and drawing tools you'll see near the bottom of the list rule lines then it has a little arrow that tells me that there's going to be more options in that particular button. So when I see the button that I like, I'm going to click and drag it up to whichever toolbar I want to put it on. I typically will put it on the toolbar right next to the button that turns on and off the rule lines. Uh, and occasionally I also like to put it on my pen toolbar down here. Once you're happy with whatever buttons you've added, I'll hit click on close. And now you'll see we have in two places this rule lines button. And if we click on the arrow, you'll see the selection of various rule lines that you can use. So when I want graph paper, I can choose graph paper, or if I want to use ruled paper, I can choose that. Um, I can also choose none if I want it nice and blank.